Okay. Hello, students. Today we are going to look at subtraction. Okay. So look at that monkey. It has got how many bananas? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it has got seven bananas. Now it has eaten three bananas. So how many bananas does it have left? Or maybe assume that it's me. I have seven bananas. I have eaten three. How many bananas are left? Okay. So you can see we have one, two, three, four. Four bananas are left. So in this we say that at first I have seven bananas. I eat three. So minus three. I have four bananas left. So now let us read this number sentence. Seven minus three equals four. Seven minus three equals four. Now we say that four is the difference. Four, we call it the difference. The answer that we get after subtracting we call it difference. Okay, now let's read these number sentences. Four minus one equals three. Nine minus three equals six. Okay, five minus four equals one okay seven minus five equals two so all of these we call them subtraction sentences okay and the answer that we get after subtracting we call it difference okay Okay, let us now look at methods of subtraction. So we begin with A, taking away. We can subtract by taking away. Now look, I have five strawberries. I give away two strawberries to my friends. How many strawberries do I have left? Okay. Now we have five strawberries. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, and five. I give away two strawberries to my friends. So let me take away two strawberries. So how many strawberries do I have left? So you can say I have one, two, and three. Okay. So once we write this as a number sentence, we will have five minus two equals three. Okay. We can actually show this using a number bond. Say that we have five as a whole then we have two then it means that the remaining part is three okay that's how we show it using a number bond okay let's look at another example eight minus six equals now let's have eight dots one two 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, I will take away 6 dots. Take away 6 dots. You see that we remain with 2 dots. So this means that 8 minus 6 equals 2. Okay? When we show it using a number bond, we can have 8 as a whole. Then we have 6. And then what is the remaining part? So the remaining part is 2. So that 6 and 2 will make 8. Okay. Another example. Let's, let's show 7 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, let's take away 3 dots. So you see that we will remain with, let's count, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it means that 7 minus 3 equals 4. Using a number bond, we can say that we have 7, then we have 3, then the remaining part will be 4. So that 3 and 4 make 7. Okay. So try that. Those are four dots. Take away one, you remain with three. Okay. Seven minus five. So how many dots should we have? You can use any picture, it's up to you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take away five. Remain with two. I hope that you have understood how we can subtract while taking away. So now let's look at subtraction by crossing out. So we have eight minus six. Let us have eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we will cross out six dots. And then we check how many dots are we going to be having left. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see that we remain with two dots. So eight minus six equals two. Okay, now we look at seven minus four. Let's have seven pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let us close out four pictures. One, two, three, and four. So we have three left, okay? What about if we have 4 minus 4? So let's have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we cross out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is our answer? It means that our answer is 0. 4 minus 4 equals 4. Sorry. 4 minus 4 equals 0. So on a number bond, we can show it as 4 as a whole. One part is 4. The other part is 0. Okay. So 10 minus 3. So we have 10 pictures. Let's go. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now we cross out 3. 1, 2, 3. And our answer will be, let's count all together, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So our answer will be 7. It means that we have 10 as a whole. One part is 3, the other part is 7. Okay? Now let us subtract by counting back. Subtracting two numbers by counting back. So we have 6 minus 2. So let's write from 1 up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we will go backwards two states from 6. Okay? 1, 2. Where we stop will be our answer. So our answer is 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Okay? We can also show this on a number line. Let's have from 0 up to 10. And now we have got 6. We will go backwards two states. 1, 2. And our answer will be 4. Okay? All right. Let's have 5 minus 3. So we will write from 1 up to 5. Okay? Now, we will go backwards three states. Okay? 1, 2, 3. And our answer will be 2. Okay? 9 minus 4. So we have 9, we go backwards 4 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, and where we stop becomes our answer. So our answer is 5, 9 minus 4 equals 5, okay? So. 8 minus 5, it means that we will write from 1 up to 8. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we go backwards 5 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So where we stop becomes our answer. You can see that we have stopped at 3. So our answer becomes 3. So it means that 8 minus 5 equals 3. Okay? If we have up to 10 now, we have 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1. So we go backwards one step. So our answer becomes five. So six minus five equals, sorry, six minus one equals five. Okay, now let's do some practice. Okay. So in our number bond, what number is missing? You can see we have got nine pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One side, we have got six. So what number is this? Oh yes, that will be three. So that six and three make nine. Okay, so you can write your answer for part B. Okay, now you go 
to your book, you open page 75. You go to page 75. Okay. So number one, how many are there left? Subtract and fill in the boxes. A. City takes away one mango. So how many mangoes are there? So one, two, three, four, five, and Number six. Five. Now, once we take away one, how many mangoes do we have left? One, two, three, four, and five. So five is our answer. Okay, now write your answer for part B. Okay, now for number two, subtract to find the whole and part. Fill in the missing numbers. Okay, so how many pictures we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have got nine. So this side we have four. One, two, three, four. So how many do we have here? Okay. So it means that we will have five. So that we have five and four to make nine. Okay. And now I want you to write your answer for part B. Okay, so I believe that you have all understood the meaning of subtraction. Okay, so let us stop here for today. Goodbye.